everybody just wanted to uh, react to another video of Justin Trudeau uh, exposing himself again so I have a look and then uh, we'll talk about it after Oops, sorry about that okay here we go I think the long-term effects on our economy of young people who can't build their dreams, can't start a family, can't live in the communities in which they work, will be devastating for this economy. The current situation is not just unfair for young families and young people who don't have the opportunities that their parents and grandparents had when you work hard to build uh, a future for yourself. Now, he actually made a lot of really, really good points there. You know, talking about how it's not fair and how you can't really ever, uh, you're not going to be able to, you know, afford a, a house. The working class people are getting are, are getting screwed. And, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's interesting. You know, when he talks about these things and he talks about, you know, hey, uh, you know, it's not fair for you guys. You're getting screwed. This current situation sucks. You kind of have to wonder who created this situation. Who's been the prime minister for the past nine years? Oh, wait, you have, stupid. It's you who's created this situation, and you're not reversing any of these things. You're not getting rid of the taxes. Uh, they're not building more homes as fast as they can. They're letting in way too many people. This is the, the kind of stuff that's creating these problems. And he just thinks, well, um, hey, you know, budgets, they, uh, they balance themselves. Just, you can go back to the nine years and just look at all the stupid things he said, where he, admitting that he admires the Chinese Communist Party. I mean, it's just, all this guy has done is, he's not as bad as Joe Biden, at least he can speak sentences, but, I mean, it's just, it's wild for him to actually come out there and say, hey guys, I know it sucks right now and the current situation is really rough. Even though I cause it, I'll fix it. Oh, so you're going to get rid of the taxes? No. Gonna maybe tighten up the border? Nope. You gonna like allow houses to be built faster as well as properly? Nope. Gonna stop charging people so much money? Is inflation gonna go down? Is lumber gonna be cheaper? Nope. So how are you gonna fix it? Well, cause I, I said so and Pierre Polyev's mean to me and I don't like him, so that's how I'll fix it. That doesn't work. And this is why these numbers are, you know, if you look at the polling, it's why Pierre Polyev is so far ahead because people are just tired of this. Trudeau does a lot of this, but there's no action at all. all right, I know this is a little a bit of a short video to react to and a short video for me uh, in general. But that being said, you know, I just wanted to kind of comment on that because I just, when I see videos like this from Trudeau just saying, just speaking this way, it just, it, it makes my jaw drop. Right, so I don't, I don't know if you guys saw it. I definitely wanted to make sure that I, I shared that with you and then gave my opinion on it. I'd also like to hear your opinion down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video.